Hi, it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm sharing a layout for Hip Kit Club. And I'm working with the December 21 kits. Um, this layout will feature bits from the main kit, the Pocket Life kit and the embellishment kit, I think. Um, and it's Moodboard Sunday, so I'm using the January Moodboard as my inspiration today. Um, there were three images on the Moodboard really that inspired me. Um, first off, the one in the top right obviously has those... Um, diamonds and a triangle so I've cut a piece of um, pattern paper into a diamond shape um, and the pattern paper I've chosen was inspired by the image on the top left of the mood board so you've got that lovely kind of snowy frosty woodland um, and this wood grain paper is white and grey and really kind of reminded me of that so I've cut my shape um, I think I've already stitched it off camera before starting and um, if not I will do it shortly but I've added just a line of white running stitch all the way around the outside edge of that um, and as you saw I've just distressed the edges with my distressing tool and I'm going to have that sitting horizontally across my page. Now I was tempted to go with white cardstock. I am very much a white cardstock girl at heart. Um, I always pick up white for my background but I was losing that lovely wood grain patterned paper on it. It was just washing it out and making it looking really drab. Um, and I wanted it to show, I want that pattern to show. So I popped it on the kind of greyish metallic silver cardstock from the cardstock kit. And I liked the way that looked because that wood grain pattern is grey. Um, so I've gone with a grey background, which um, I don't often use co coloured cardstock for my background, um, especially not dark colours. So this was um, a first for me, I think. Um, but I really love the way it looks. So I'm going to get this diamond raised up on some foam to introduce some dimension. Um, I love to have lots of dimension on my pages. So getting this in place now with loads of foam behind it. Um, trying to just get right to the edges with that foam as well so that it doesn't kind of sag and droop once I start embellishing on and around it. Um, so I just added some triangle bits there into my points. And I'm going to get that stuck down with some double sided tape. So I've got my photo here that you've just seen me um, messing around with. I've printed it three by four and then trimmed it down slightly smaller. I've added a white border to it, but then I felt like that was getting lost on that white diamond um, patterned paper. So I've added some of that lovely kind of greenish cardstock from the cardstock kit. Um, it's kind of like a minty, tealy kind of colour. It's really pretty, probably my favourite out of the whole cardstock kit. Um, but that, that colour features in some of the embellishments, so that worked really well and gave it just a bit of separation from my background and helped it pop a bit. And I'm going to have that over on the right hand side of my diamond there with lots of embellishments around it. So going back to that image in the top left of the mood board with that kind of snowy um, woodland and then the bottom right image of the mood board had trees and branches. So I've pulled out lots of the floral ephemera um, from the embellishment kit and also I've saved the, there's two I think trees or like um, bare branch trees in the ephemera pack in the main kit and I purposely kept them back for this layout um, because they went really well with that image on the mood board. Um, so I've clustered those around my photo and then I've built a little cluster up on the top left as well to help balance the page out a little bit. And I also had a design team prompt today to use elements from the kit in unexpected ways. Um, and I had a feeling or I've seen other people using um, alphas as kind of background embellishments before. So I wanted to try and avoid that and try and do something slightly differently. So I'm taking one of the puffy stickers, those lovely gorgeous ombre stickers from the main kit. And I'm actually going to turn it into a sequin shaker pocket. So I've cut it out from the sheet of kind of acetate that it comes on, leaving the acetate there. Um, don't saves me having to add my own acetate then, that worked really well. And now I'm adding a layer of craft foam all around the outside edge there. And I'm going to fill this with some sequins from Spiegel Mum Scraps. Um, I think it's the Ice Cream Dream mix that I pull out. It's got some lovely soft pastel colours that work really well with the December kit. So if you've got this mix from Spiegel Mum, pull it out because a lot of the colours in it match the kits perfectly. Um, so I'm going to fill this with sequins and I'm going to back that with the same wood grain patterned paper um, and add that to two my little embellishment clusters there with all those florals and leaves. 
And I thought this was a great way to use those stickers rather than just peeling them off and sticking them down. It was really fun to do something different with them. Um, and it took minutes and it was really easy to do and love the way it looks, especially with the ombre effect of the sticker itself against the colours of the sequins. So um, yeah, really like that, really pretty um, way to use that sticker. I also wanted to make one of the die cuts into a shaker pocket as well and I had this snow globe and I thought it would work really well so I'm just sort of gutting the middle of it there leaving a thick enough edge that I can add the foam around the edge again um, so I'm going to get some acetate stuck to that um, put my sequins in and leave it to dry to one side. Um, I actually don't end up putting this on the layout. Um, I've kept the process in so you can see and it might inspire you to give it a go yourselves. Um, it works really well and it would work with loads of different ephemera pieces but I just couldn't find a place for it on the page um, without really tucking it in somewhere and then you were losing the fact that it was a snow globe um, it just looked like a random corner of a circle. So. Um, lovely way to use the die cut but just unfortunately i just didn't have a place for it on my page so i've kept that back um, and i might even use it on another layout but like i said i've kept the process in for you um just because it might spark an idea for somebody so whilst it's to one side drying, I'm going to get things stuck down. I've got quite a lot on my page now. Um, all those florals and trees are kind of clustered and layered up. So I want to try and get them stuck down in place before um, I build too much more on the page and then I've got to pull it all off again. I hate doing that. Um, get really carried away, don't you? Stick loads on your page and then you um, have to take it all back off and stick it down. So I'm using foam pads behind a lot of these pieces just to introduce a bit more dimension and then I can curl edges up and make them look a bit more realistic rather than having them all lay uh, all stuck down flat. Sorry, I like to have them layered up. Um, so I've got a mixture of leaves and florals going on here. A couple of the leaves are fussy cut from one of the patterned papers, that gorgeous paper with all the florals on. Um, some of those are cut from that. Um, the rest are from the die cut packs, so the one in the main kit and the one in the embellishment kit. And I've added a little tag up to the top left cluster there that says winter. Um, I will eventually add some embroidery floss through that as well, just so it's not just sitting there. It kind of finishes it off nicely. I'm a big fan of um, adding thread to tags. I don't like leaving them bare. Um, so I can't remember if I do it on camera or not, but I certainly do. Before um, the page is finished, I do add some thread through that. So coming back to my uh, die cut ephemera shaker pocket now, that I use glossy accents to stick the acetate down because that's um, it's a really strong hold um, and I was confident that it wouldn't all fall apart on me. So I left it to one side to dry and again I just trimmed it down, I'm adding some of that foam to the outside edge there and I'm going to fill it with the same sequin mix, back it with that wood grain paper again. Um, and then I just realised that it's just too big and I haven't got enough space to get it on the page unfortunately but I do love the way it turned out. So I'm just working on building those clusters up a bit more. I wanted a few more trees and leaves and things just because there's plenty of trees on the mood board. Um, obviously top right, Im oh, sorry, top left image and bottom right image. So I wanted to get a few more trees and things on the page. So I've added uh, a few more of the puffy stickers. I absolutely adore these. Um, I'm gutted, I've almost run out of them. But I've got that lovely kind of orangey tree up the top there. And I've added the peachy coloured branches um, sort of diagonally through my photos um, and I added a couple of the blue leaves as well. <laughs> Coming back to that shaker again, I've kind of made it in stages, um, letting it dry to the side in, in between so that I can carry on with my layout. But you'll see here, I just there's nowhere for it to sit naturally without it looking like it's just been plonked there. So I do try, but um, it's in vain. So that's been popped aside for uh, another page. And I think I'm not far from being done here. I'm just trying to add a couple more little bits and pieces here and there. I do need to add my title. So I'm using the um, chipboard stickers that come with the uh, embellishment kit, I believe these ones were in. So I've used the word winter, and then we also had the word fun. Um, and I remembered that my, my N had fallen off, so I frantically searched my desk there trying to find it um, to get that on. So I've made my title winter fun. 
and then I felt like the edge of my layout was just lacking and needed something to finish it off. So I thought I would see what it looked like with that wood grain paper as a border all the way around the outside, but I really didn't like that. Um, I then tried tearing a couple of strips to add top and bottom, don't like that either. Then I think I'll add a few strips to the bottom and kind of layer them up like a snowy landscape, sort of like hills and mountains. Um, I thought oh, I'll bring in some more papers, but I really didn't like that either. Because I've got that design centrally in the page, I just felt like whatever I did at the top I needed to do at the bottom, but it just wasn't looking right. It was just taking away from how pretty that centre section looked. So you'll see me here trying several things. And in the end, I give up and turn the camera off, go away and have a think. And what I actually end up doing is just tearing a small slit in the top and bottom of the page, um, kind of diagonal corners you'll see here in the close-ups, and just backing that area with that wood grain pattern paper. So it's just a subtle detail in those two corners, but I felt like it just finished that page off. Like it just needed something. Um, and something not too drastic, but I like the way that that kind of subtly finishes that off. And that's me done for today. So thank you very much for joining me for today's layout. I hope it's given you some inspiration in using your December kits along with the January mood board and, and shown you can use um, elements in the kits in different ways. So like that uh, puffy sticker that I've turned into a shaker pocket, die cuts into shaker pockets. Um, it's just about thinking outside the box and just doing something a little different with them. Um, and I love that little shaker pocket, how it turned out. Um, but thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I will see you next month and we'll be back with the January kit, which I can't wait for. So I'll see you next time.